In this tutorial, I'll be sharing how you can create an animated love story completely free using AI tools like ChatGPT, Leonardo.ai, Pika, Art, Eleven Lab. No experience with 3D software like Maya, 3DS Max, or Blender required. By the end, you'll see the full story come to life with narration generated solely from text prompts. Get ready to be amazed at what's possible with the power of artificial intelligence. Iman Global YouTube Channel First, I asked ChatGPT to suggest a scenario for a romantic story by providing details of each scene and suggesting illustrative images for each scene along with a proposed voice over script. ChatGPT can act as a creative collaborator in ideation and story generation, script writing, turning scripts into scenes, and evaluating filmmaking projects. Now I intend to use the suggested illustrative images as prompts in the Leonardo.ai image generation tool to produce new images. I will also use the voice over text as input for the 11Lab AI text-to-speech conversion model to transform the text into audio. To convert text into an image, we go to the website Leonardo.ai and create an account by providing an email and password, which is free. On the top section of the website, we can see various models trained for generating images. I click on one of these models, and on a new page, you will find information about the model and sample images created with it. A bit further down, you'll see a gallery of images generated by Leonardo.ai and by users of this website. From the left side menu, I click on the AI image generation option. In the top section, there is a text box for entering prompts. From the drop-down list, we can choose which model should be used to generate the image based on the prompt. Now, I go to ChatGPT. I copy the location of the first shot and the details of the image inserted by ChatGPT, then return to Leonardo.ai and paste it into the prompt section. Using location information and the suggested image, we have a good prompt for generating a related shot in ChatGPT. From the drop-down list of fine-tuned models, I select the 3D animation style option. In the number of images section, I can choose the number of images to generate. In the drop-down list for aspect ratio, I set it to 16 to 9. Now, I click the generate button to create the images. I click on the thumbnail to view the images. Below each image, there is a download button for free saving of each image. To create the next image, I return to ChatGPT. I copy the location information in the second shot. Then, I paste it into the text box in Leonardo.ai. After that, I also copy the suggested image information through ChatGPT. Then, I paste it into the previous text sequence in the text box in Leonardo.ai. Now, we have a good and complete prompt. I click the Generate button to create the second shot image. I click on the thumbnail to view the larger image. As I mentioned earlier, there is a download button below each image for free saving of each image. I will repeat this process and method that I taught you to create the next required images using ChatGPT and Leonardo.ai. These images will then be used as input in the artificial intelligence Pika.art to be converted into videos in the next stage. Now our images are ready. We must move to the next stage, where these images will be converted to video with AI. Now we go to the Pika.art website. As mentioned before, Pika.art is an AI for converting images to videos. To get started, we first need to create a free account on, and then by adding Pika.art we can access its capabilities through Discord. From the left menu under the Creations section, I select one of the subsections. I choose the Generate 8 subsection. Now at the bottom of the page I have access to a text box to enter the prompt. First, I enter Create. My first image was of a romantic date in a cozy cafe, and I want to convert it to video. So now in the prompt section I explain what should happen in the first image. The FPS 24 parameter makes the video frame rate 24 frames per second, which is currently the highest FPS that Pika.art can create. At the end of the prompt I click. Now in the list that opens, I click on image. Now a box is given to upload the image. I upload the first image from my hard drive. Now I click on the enter button and wait for the prompt to get in queue and get ready. After a few moments, our prompt and image are converted to a video. I play the video to see the result. We can also see it in a larger size. If you think this video is good, you can download it. The free download button is at the top right to receive and save it. If you are not satisfied with the result, there is an attractive button below each video that creates different variations from the same prompt. You can click it multiple times and wait for the creation of diverse variations. 
After that, you will see at the end of the page that your prompts are placed in the wait queue. After a short time, my prompts were converted to videos by Pika.art, and I review them. Currently, you can use Pika.art Unlimited and for free to convert images and text to videos. You need to repeat the same process and method that I taught you for the next images that we create with Leonardo.ai so that all the shots of this story are converted to videos based on the images we have. After all the videos are ready, we will move to the next stage where we need to convert our text to speech. In the next stage, we go to the 11labs.io website. We use the text-to-speech service on the 11labs.io website and create a voiceover for the story based on the script that ChatGPT provided us with. First, we need to create a free account to access the capabilities of 11labs.io. Now various options are available for the text-to-speech section. From the first opening menu in the settings section, we listen to the available voice samples and select the desired male or female voice. Whoso loves believes the impossible. Allow the world to live as it chooses. Logic will get you from a... What worries you, Master? Before you put on a frown, make apps... Whoso loves believes the impossible. From the second opening menu in the settings section, we can set various parameters of the voice, including speed, thickness, and thinness. In the text box, we must enter the text that is to be converted to voice. At this stage, we refer to ChatGPT. I copy the text that ChatGPT prepared for us in the voiceover section and paste it into the text box on 11labs.io. Now by clicking the generate button, the speaker's voice is ready. We will do this work to create the voice for all the shots. After the videos and narrator's voice are ready, we will move on to the editing stage. In this tutorial, I will show you how to edit with Adobe Premiere Pro. As you can see in the video, by selecting the New Project option we are creating a new project and defining the project name and save location. Now I will click the Create button. In the Project panel, I right-click and select Import to bring the videos generated from the previous step into Adobe Premiere Pro. As you can see, I place all the videos inside a folder for better organization. I drag and drop one of the videos onto the timeline to create a sequence. I add the remaining videos by dragging them onto the video track in the timeline. Let's review the timeline. I'm adjusting the timeline zoom in and out. For better organization, I take the sequence out of the folder and change the name of the sequence and folder. This helps with project organization. Be sure to name your files and folders. Now I import the audio files that were created through the 11lab website's text-to-speech system. I'll move all the files to one folder and name the folder. I select all the audio files and drag them onto the audio track section in the Premiere Pro timeline. I'm zooming in on the timeline to make timeline review easier. Now with the razor tool, I clear the silent parts and adjust the audio by moving it to sync with the videos. By selecting the unnecessary parts and right-clicking, I choose the clear option. I perform this action again. I move the audio parts to fit appropriately and synchronize with the video. I change the zoom of the timeline to be able to review the timeline. After syncing the narrator's audio with the videos, you can even add a background music. For this, I right-click in the project panel and import a music file. I drag the music file onto another audio track in the Premiere Pro timeline. I shorten its length. Let's play it. Once upon a time, in a world filled with possibilities, the background music volume is very loud, so from the effects panel I lower its level. Let's play it. Once upon a time, in a world filled with possibilities, two hearts found their rhythm. In each other's arms, they discovered a love like no other. But love is not with After editing, I need to export the output from the timeline. I click on export. I select high quality 1080p HD from the presets. I define the location to save the final file. Now I click on export. Let's take a look at the final output with a little more editing.
Once upon a time, in a world filled with possibilities, two hearts found their rhythm. In each other's arms, they discovered a love like no other. But love is not without its storms. And the ache of what was lost. He knew he had to make things right. And in forgiveness, they found strength. He asked the most important question of his life. Love, once lost, was now found forever. And they danced into a new chapter, hand in hand, forever. In this tutorial, you will become familiar with the process of creating a love story using ChatGPT, Leonardo.ai, Eleven Lab, Pika, and editing it with Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials. Turn on notifications too so you don't miss the next video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.